Welcome to our video series where we're going to be going through the CAT or Computer Application Technology PRAC exam or the first paper from May or June 2024 which is a supplementary paper so it's a good paper to practice on if you're in grade 12. Just a reminder that the data files are in the video description link as well as the question paper so give the exam paper a bit of a go and then take note of where you struggle where you got some queries and then come back and watch the rest of the video. So we're on question three, which is the start of the spreadsheet questions. And we're going to open up three budget. Again, I remind you, whenever you're working on your Excel spreadsheet, not only take note of which spreadsheet you're working on, but take note of which worksheet in that spreadsheet you're working on. So we're working on three budget, but you must be in the budget worksheet. So if I open it up there, you can see by our default, we are opened on the budget worksheet. So let's start off with 3.1. Change the tab color of the worksheet to an orange color. So when you down, just right click on the tab and there you can see there is tab color and we want an orange color. Now just take note that is actually orange accent two. You want that one, which is the actual orange one. When they specify a particular color, make sure you use the correct one. In this case, they said any orange color. So I think it would have been acceptable for anyone. But yeah, if they said two orange, then you must use the correct orange. 3.2, change the page setup so that the cells A1 to R59 will fit on one page. So page setup, that's got to do with the layout. And there you can see page setup. So I'm going to come and click on the, uh, just to click over there. And we want it to fit to one page, but we're going to come here to sheet. So we can say, what is the print area? So when I click on the print area, we're going to click on there and we're going to make it A1. A1 until I59. So I till there. So we're going to go to 59 all the way down here, which makes sense till there. So that is the print area. And just go back here to check. Yep, it fits on one page. So if we go OK and then we go to print preview, yeah, you can see that it all fits on one page and it's that range. Another thing, if you clicked over here and seen the page break preview, you can see that that blue line indicates that it's one page and that it fits in that range as well. You could have also set the print area over here by selecting that area and then select set print area. Okay, so there are lots of ways of doing it. And then 3.3, insert a sum ifs, ooh, the, that little s there, function in E3 to determine the total food budget, all the mammals that arrived after 2025. Okay, so we total in the food budget, but take note, there's criteria. I've got a funny feeling there's something to do with mammals and something to do with after 2005, not including 2005, after. So if we come look at the data, so we're going to put a formula in E3, which is over there, and we want to look at the total food budget, if I remember correctly, and I think that there's the two budget. We want to add up all those numbers, but only if it's a mammal. Now, how do we know if it's a mammal? Well, over here, we will know if it's a mammal. So it says the word mammals, take note as mammals, and the arrival date is after 2015. So not including 2015. So that'll be 2016 or later. So we're looking at the arrival date. So if I find a mammal and I find its date has arrived after 2015, which is in this case correct, we're going to add the food budget value. Then I'm okay. Yes, animal. If that's during 2015, so not including that one, not that one. Oh yeah, we got mammals in 2021, so we're going to add that. So that's what we technically are doing. But we're going to use a sum ifs formula. Now just take note with sum ifs, it is slightly different to our sum if. Our sum if we do where we look in, what is the criteria and what are we sum in? But because with some ifs, we've got multiple criteria ranges and multiple criteria, it actually wants the sum range first. First ask, what are we sum in? And then range criteria, range criteria. So it's a slight deviation of the sum if. So where are we summing? We first, we adding up the food budget. So that's my first column that I'm going to select over here. So that blue column is what we are summing, the food budget. And then I'm press comma. Now we're going to sum that. Now we're going to look at a range criteria, range criteria. So, right. so let's do the mammals first. We can look in this range all the way down this little red column over here, red or orange. I don't know what it is technically. So in the D column, that red one, we're going to put, what are we looking for? We're looking for the word mammals. But remember your criteria must be in double quotes. So I'm typing the word mammals exactly like I see it over there. That's why I put the S in. So that is looking for mammals in in the red column. If we find a match, we're going to add up the value in the blue column. But that's not all we're looking for. We're looking for another range. What's my next range? The arrival date. So we're going to select the arrival date. We're looking at all of these arrival dates. 
And then just take note, your ranges should match. So 7 to 59, 7 to 59, 7 to, there we go. They are all matching. What are we looking for in the purple column? We are looking for anything after 2015. It did not include 2015. So it's going to be 2016 or later. So you can't just put in a number. You can't say greater than equal to 2015 because this is not a number field. This is a date field. So what is the first date? after 2015 well that'll be the first day in 2016 so we want the date 2016 slash 01 slash 01 so we want on that day or later so i'm gonna say greater than equal to this date so that's what i'm looking for you could also say greater than 2015 12 31 so bigger than the last day of 2015 but remember our criteria must be in double quotes so we're going to put the double quote there and a double quote over there so we are looking for mammals in the red column we're looking for after that date in the purple column and then if it's true for both cases sum the corresponding value in the blue column so let's test that and see if it works and we have a value over there which i think is technically correct that's why it's five marks there's so many things there then we're going to go to 3.4 modify the conditional formatting of the grooming budget so that so I'm going to come over here, grooming budget. So I assume there's a okay, there's some formatting on there. You can see those little flags there. So we're going to modify the conditional formatting. So we're going to edit or manage the rules. So there is an icon set. So what do they want me to do? Modify the format so that the value of 1500 or more will be marked with a red flag. At the moment, it's just got an icon set. So we're going to edit that rule. If the value is greater than or equal to 15,000, Value of feet or more will be marked with a red flag. So then we must change that to a red flag. So I'm going to change it to a red flag for a value 15 or more. And what else do they want? They want a value of 10,000 and above will be marked with a yellow flag. So when it's less than and when it's more than 10,000, so I'm going to change that to a 10,000, it'll be the yellow flag. Does it include 10,000? The value of 10,000 or above will be marked with the yellow flag and any other values will be a green flag. So we've got the yellow flag and we've got the, when it's less than that. So those are the three options. I'm assuming when they say a value of 10,000 and above, we still underneath the 15,000 for the red flag. I think that is correct. Ah, oh, just take note, this is looking for percent. We must change that to a number and we're going to have to change that back to 10,000. So when it's a greater than or equal to 10,000 as a number, then we must say yellow and then green for any other case so just take note of that just make sure that these are numbers not percent i think that's correct if i click okay they want that go okay ah so now we're starting to see some reds and yellows in that 3.5 the zoom manager is preparing the annual yearly budget and insert a formula in r7 to determine the amount for the 2005 budget based on the annual food and grooming budget plus an increase of 2.25 percent okay so what does that mean let's go to r7 you got r7 there it is so r 7s over there that's 3.5 so to work out the formula we're going to determine the amount for the annual budget based on the annual food and grooming budget so if i look here these are monthly food well that's annual grooming budget so that's this is per month and that's annual so we want to add this value but we want to add 12 of them because this is per month and we want to add that uh, those two values together plus an increase of 2.25%. So that value is going to increase by 2.25%. Okay, there are lots of mathematical ways of doing it. You could use these building blocks if you want. So we could say, well, the food budget is that multiplied by 12. So that's how much the food's going to cost for a year. And then that is the grooming budget. So if I say equals this block plus this block will be the total budget. That is how much the total budget. Now we're going to increase that by 2.25%. So we're going to say this equals this amount plus this amount times about 2.25 divided by 100 which will be 2.25 percent so if i do that it increases it by a little bit more and there we go i think that is technically correct you could have also done it in one step you could have also what i like to do mathematically if i know that something's a hundred percent if i'm going to increase it by 2.25 percent then technically i'm going to increase it by 102.25 percent and then you would take equals to for example 15,000. you would multiply by that amount divided by 100 so that's how you would increase it so technically 100 for example 90 percent is the same as 0 0.9 because it's 90 divided by 100 so 102.25 is the same as 1.02 Two, five, technically. So those are ways that you could have done it. Yeah, so don't be afraid to use the building blocks. They do help you and get you the marks if you need to, or you could just do it in one step.
Then our last question for 3.6. Modify the chart. Are we going to, well, first of all, go to the totals worksheet, Mr. Long. So we're going to go to the totals worksheet. We're just going to make sure we save. So there is our budget there. We can see our little chart. Modify the chart to appear as follows. So there's a couple of things. So there are four things that they want us to do. So let's see if we can find the four things. It's like finding what's missing. So first of all, the heading looks the same. I'm happy with the heading. The bottom looks the same. I'm happy with that. I'm noticing that there is the value plus the percentage in the data labels. So I think that's one thing. So if we come here to the data labels, now they've got data labels, but we're going to just get some more options. We want the category name and we want the percentage. So it looks like that. So grass hay 13%, grass hay 30%. I'm happy with that, but there's no comma there. If you look at our one, our one has a comma. Is there anything about, oh, a separator. So the separator, we want a space. Okay, so ooh, that was a tricky one. We didn't, it was very difficult to pick that up. But if you look there, it, it's the, the name and the percentage, but there's nothing in between it. So we had to make sure that we got the percentage and that we did the space. I think that's two of the four things we need to do. And then if I click on the data over here, I want you to look here at the angle of the first slice. Now we want to just rotate that a little bit because if you look here, I don't think they give us an actual value of it, but it's somewhere at the top here. The green part is somewhere at the top. So we're going to just keep going somewhere at the top here. It's going to be somewhere in that range. It's somewhere like that. They look okay. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. And then that green one is going to be lifted out a bit. So I'm going to click on it so that the bubbles only appear on the green bit. I'm not going to click on all of it because if I separate and if I drag that out a little bit, you'll see the, the explosion comes out a little bit. So just drag it out a little bit. Do they say how much? They don't say how much. I think that's enough. I'm happy with that. There is some sort of explosion of that part of the par. So I just dragged it out. You could have also just used this to make it go out. But remember, you had to click. If you clicked on all of them, click away and then you click on all of them and then did the explosion, that would do all of them, which is not what you want. I'm going to undo that. Um, so you must make sure that when you click on the one that you want to change, you see all the bubbles, you click on it again. Now it's just the green one has the bubbles around it and then you can change that particular one. I think so. We moved it out we changed the angle we got the data labels percentage and we took the space i think those are the four things that they want i think i'm done let's save it i don't see any other changes needed so there we go i think we're done we can now move on to the next spreadsheet question two things that you can do can really help the channel one is to share us with other people so that we can help as many people as we can and become a subscriber just click on that subscribe button it'll really support the channel and help us to be able to make more videos and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way